Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and we are going to continue our series um, Send Me Your Disastrous Fail Campaigns. This fail campaign here is called the Failed Psionic Rush and we're in episode number 5 of it. Um, we have captured most of Africa and now it's time to really strike back. The overall um, Avatar project is almost done. So we are lucky that this landed UFO um, is going to provide us some resources. I have prepared the high level characters, uh, our highest grenadier and our highest uh, specialist, and I filled, uh, filled it with whatever I could find. The good news here is I could craft the first mimic beacon thanks to the three um, faceless ones that we have killed last uh, fight. So, in case we're in a dire situation, that will save us at least one round. I felt that a couple of extra hit points wouldn't be too bad. Since we're now in month number 6, and since we again do not have any real weapon upgrades nor any armor upgrades, I feel that the Mimic Beacon will at least bring us through a difficult encounter where I need an extra turn. Somehow a group of resistance operatives managed to disable a UFO that set down near one of their camps in this area. They gave us the ship's position and it's likely to be carrying valuable alien technology. So we're moving in to secure the site. Neutralize any hostile contacts on approach. So the thing with um, landed UFOs is they tend to be very difficult. It is a risk versus reward kind of thing. They give enormous rewards, but they also tend to be extremely difficult. We have all the time in the world for this. And it's a large map, super far away. We might want to sneak into it, to be honest. Position confirmed. Yeah, for once I'm not going to take the high ground, because A, I don't think that there is someone up there, and B, I don't want to fight outside of the UFO. We actually need to move inside of the UFO, and fight inside of it. Yeah, maybe we're sneaking around here. That could be an option. So the reason why I want to sneak is on once we trigger the first enemy pack, this whole no timer thing starts to become very very difficult all of a sudden. Um, because there is going to be like a distress signal or counter signal or reinforcement signal whatever so it is a signal a signal to be a single entity is actually a swarm of tiny robotic units and working in the, that will start a time to mission a cohesive form time to motor usually only a handful of turns uh, by the way we just saw our first specter which is kind of the worst thing that could happen good to go these guys are really really dangerous Let's see if it moves in our direction. It does not. Maybe it is not a patrol. There are sometimes now. stationary targets. Usually at the UFOs they are positioned like at one of the entrances to prevent from simply rushing into it. Kind of what we're trying to do at the I'll moment, move. to be honest. Copy that. Got it. The real difficulty with the UFOs is normally that it takes so much time to to fight because there are just a lot of hit points. Many targets uh, or many enemies will like come out of the UFO and will try to challenge you outside. And in the meantime, the timer ticks the whole time. Tick, 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 Location tick. Confirmed. That's what makes these missions um, 
Yeah, Run very in. difficult. Vision was rated difficult, so I would assume we're either going to look at 15 plus enemies. Well, maybe 12 plus, 12 to 15 enemies. Well, 15 would already be very difficult. Um, so either we're looking at 11 to 13 enemies, or we're looking at probably 2 to 3 packs, there now. plus a chosen which, quite frankly, I don't even know what the worst um, option is. I would probably take more yeah, aliens, because you can kill them one by one. Time to motor. Double time. Stepping off. Okay. Slowly but surely looking into it. Right, found no nothing suspicious. It's a good start. Affirmative, moving out. Okay. I think that was a mutant plus um, a sectoid. Heading there now. Pretty sure it is a mutant plus a sectoid. Roger that. These guys also stay static or are they moving? Well, they are moving. And there is a high probability that they are both. No, no, no. Oh, wow. We're fucked. Got some advent here. They're on jokes. Only the best. Well, maybe we can Overwatch kill this guy. is almost dead. That's not bad either. Menace one five. We just picked up an outbound signal coming from the UFO. It's some kind of distress beacon. You need to get inside that ship and shut down the signal before they send their whole fleet after us. No, we're not meeting a mutant. No, 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 no. But we are going to move right in into his face. Bam. Enemies down. Alien guts on the wall. We can take them. We don't need to use the mimic beacon. Nice little critical hit. I like it. Still a critical hit. We know that there is a pack over here, so I'm not going to go into this direction. Uh, might look like a tempting idea, but it really isn't.
Instead, we're probably just going to kill. Yeah. Let's kill it. This is for you. Just making sure we're topped off. I don't want to lose our best soldier in this fight. And healing one hit point less than than we max uh, than we could heal as a maximum is not bad. Oh my gosh! So many choices. All right, so that's the hunter. We can hit him from high ground, which we're not having, and we could hit him with skirmishers. The only skirmisher that we have is on covered operations. Can, stu uh, can summon advanced stun launchers, beautiful. Reveals concealed units, not necessarily a problem for us. And defense increases after the first attack every turn. Uh, that indeed is an issue. So Makes it just very difficult to hit him. Just picked up a unique signature. One of the chosen is here. That thing is only going to make trouble for us until we deal with it. Help! Help! Someone help! Well, guess what, buddy? You just lost your. You just lost your um, cover. That sucks, right? Right. Seven points of damage. Moving in, taking a shot, just to level the sniper a little bit. Don't hesitate to pull the trigger. I like that. Locked and loaded. All right, Overwatch. Overwatch, taking the workstation to get rid of uh, the distress beacon and now we need to make sure that we can uh, fight the chosen one. Oh, that would be awesome. That would be so good. Thumbs crossed guys, fingers crossed. This alone is beautiful. Nice. So if we would rush the Gauss Rifles, it would have probably costed us 110, uh, maybe 130 um, Intel. So this just rushed Gauss Rifles and reduced, um, cut the research time into half. We just won seven or eight days. Another Overwatch. Not exactly sure where the chosen is. He could always come from on top here if he grapples up i know that he has land he was landing over here so might as well grapple and come in in which case we should probably make our stand at a joint location this here looks quite good 
everyone. It's just overwatching. Let's give ourselves an 8 protocol just in case he comes down. Or watching. Or watching. Well, not quite a chosen. But definitely a difficult pack. Our resistance contacts had heard rumors Advent might be rolling out a heavy infantry armor system. Looks pretty tough. Our overwatches are so bad. I see you. If we move ourselves over here and take a flanking shot. First things first, shall we? So this here hits... Either of them. Difficult. I mean... We want to get rid of the cover. destroy the cover. That's unfortunate. But we could move over here and at least take a shot and get get him down. Our damage is so bad. Yeah. On my way. Need to move into full cover. Fifty fifty, come on. Good job. Chosen Hunter is targeting your position from long range. You need to get out of his line of sight before it's too late. So we know the the mech is here, it could move in, probably can't use its missiles, not out. inside of a UFO. The good part about the rockets is they really have a, uh, they have like a curve, that, uh, curve that, they, um, that they fly, so inside of the UFO their strength severely is diminished. Full cover. Uh, come on. The elders created you for this. Now it's time to prove your worth. That's the only person who shouldn't have been uh, shadow cloned. Uh. We could have used the stabilizing. But if he now goes like into this direction, we we'll actually need to kill the clone in this case. Yeah, but that is good. We were lucky. Not so lucky here. Commander, not far enough. Order confirmed. Moving out. 
All right. Time to get him down. Very solid hit. Position confirmed. Come on, crit. I would want to use the Mimic Beacon for this guy. Um, nice to go and be here problem is that well if we use the mimic beacon it's actually not a problem tired of waiting around 50 50 we don't have to stop right no we have increased aim which means it's necessary to actually use a grenade i want the 100 percent security that we're going to kill him. We have two um, action units, okay. Action unit one, healing. Action unit two, we're trying to stun him. If not, we're going to use the Mimic Beacon. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I wanted to keep the Mimic Beacon for the fight with the Chosen. But I also don't want to die. Throwing the mimic beacon over here. Have fun, bro. I can see further than you think. Eighty-eight percent. It needs to die this turn, so there's it can anyways flank us. So there's really no point in not going all in, threading it. Very nice. some fat loot over here superior stock wow that is really good and advanced stock superior stock is I've got it. <laughs> dealing almost as much uh, damage at the moment as our regular weapon is i'm going down Okay. 
Okay. So I think we're only up against this chosen. You really think you can hide from me? I don't even think that I can hide from you. It's all a misunderstanding, buddy. You shoot we at us. Met, but I've sure Double move. A lot about Waste you. your action. The legendary XCOM and their noble commander reunited at long last. Unfortunately, this little party's gonna be short lived. That's the Elder's Hunter. From what we've heard, he's a relentless tracker with an unnatural ability to call his shots. Mm. Yeah. It smells like my reinforcements are just over the horizon. Four rounds, and somehow this guy is supposed to have high cover. I don't even know how. even hit the normal Shogun. That's depressing. I was just hitting him. I'm pretty sure I was hitting him. Like, very, very sure. We couldn't revive a, pro a revivify protocol our injured XCOM member, but okay, whatever. Let's shred him. Now, 
Got an outloader. Come on. Barely a hit. Double or nothing. I wonder if there is another way. Well, that would be. That would expose us, but on the other hand, everyone's kind of exposed. Moving. So might as well take him. We need to deal damage. We can't win a war of attrition against him. With proper weapons, I would have thought that we All might even. With proper weapons, I would have thought that we might even have killed him in one round. Fire we have a soldier down. Get him back on their feet on the double. Revive him here. Not sure. Game says we can do it here, that's at least out of line of sight. Get up and get back out there. I was hoping you'd make some effort to get your people back, Commander. If we move war on fire, that's also a pretty bad situation. If we move, we could alternatively just hunger down instead of taking a shot. Or we're standing where we are and we're just overwatching. It's probably the best option considering our odds. Yeah, we're we're dazed, so shot is always crucial. Target still up. Maybe you're not meant. Shot failed to connect. All reliable. Nice. Is it worth living with a wound like that? Don't make this too easy on me. I'm on the move. We can kill him this turn. We are saving our bleeding out soldier. I don't get wounded often, but when I do, it makes me angry. On my way. We're done? Please. Let's say we're done, okay? You got the jump on me this time. But now that I know you're serious. Such a close mission. I'll make sure to give it my all next time. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. We've proven the chosen can be hurt. Now barely. We'll work on barely made it out good. without a casualty.
officials announced an increase to this month's recruitment quotas. Citizens well, we got five uh, ability points on top of it, which is not bad. I'm, I'm really excited. Let's see what the loot is going to look like. Hopefully, um, it was worth the effort. These chosen can be killed. Well, temporarily. So, wounded, gravely wounded, and gravely wounded. I would want to go for Blade Master here. Um, I would use the Reapers as Scout. Phantom is okay, but Blade Master is not bad. Specifically later, if you can get your hands on to the katanas. Well, that's a long way to go. You would actually need to kill a chosen for that, but yeah. And look at her. 10 missions, 45 kills. Amazon is starting to pile up uh, these little kills. Not bad. We even made it out alive. So, got a superior stock. Really good. Got an advanced stock. Also not bad. Got an outloader, it's okay. Almost a hundred alien alloys, 50 alarium, 160 supplies, a core, a shit ton of corpses. Yep, yep, thank you. Oh my god, so good. And on top of it, we reduced the Gauss weapons to four days. I was. That was actually incredibly helpful for us. But we paid the price. Gravely wounded, gravely wounded, gravely wounded, 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 tired, wounded. Okay, so let's get the other supplies. Looks like the elders are getting close to finishing their precious avatar. I don't imagine that will be good for you and your friends. Good, so we're at 266. Building a radio relay. For Sector 11, West Africa. Let's hope that the Avatar uh, project is not progressing for now. Our action together is complete, Commander. Nice. Raul got his health increase, and Praetor Mox unfortunately did not uh, get a promotion, but it was good enough. So. We could start the part one here, just to gain an additional resistance order. But what we're going to do first is we're going to reduce avatar pro uh, progress. And we even have it twice. So that's the main, uh, that is the main target. Um, She's our. Uh, she's supposed to be our main uh, specialist, so it's not bad to give her plus one mobility. And supporting her with Mox isn't bad either. No capturing, but there is a moderate chance for an ambush, so I want to make sure that we gave her the best equipment. Yeah, let's take a frag grenade just in case we really need to do something. I 
I don't like the chance of a moderate ambush. Is this your horse having on? Yeah. Both of these missions have a moderate chance for an ambush. If that's the case, I'm even considering giving her a proper teammate. Yeah, Raul here should be a good teammate. Um, no one should get captured. We need to reduce the avatar progress. That's our main goal. Our order is clear and we will obey it. Unfortunately, this also means if you look at our at our um, squad we only have squaddies at the moment we kind of maneuvered ourselves into a situation where we took it all and and now we paid the price a lot of people are we took every mission and a lot of people are i am sure just injured the results now. to be as intriguing as i do commander commander Okay, that's finally the weapon upgrade that we were looking for. Gauss rifle, mag cannon. Um, I'm thinking about what we would need to do next. I would want to go for uh, armor, because this guy needs armor in his safe file. We need to fix that next. Having select uh, having gathered some Commander. funds we might be able to, to upgrade a couple of weapons so the mech cannons would be important actually a lot of them would be important let's start with the mech cannons continue with the sniper and we could try for magnetic rifles as well the skirmish upgrade would be available for only 70 but i would like to start with the magnetic rifles instead which means we need to get 60 more supplies a few years before linking up to central right yeah one of the advantages the millions of people in those cities don't seem to mind all that much yes but advent is always watching between their forces and the aliens themselves they see everything not to mention the okay, let's see what we can sell. Advent Trooper corpses are in demand. So we're selling everything up to 15. Um, Berserker corpses, I think we can sell one. Sectoid corpses, even though they are used for mine shields, but that's okay. I think we're selling one data uh, cache. Um, this here is a lot of intel, so I don't want to sell too much, but 70 for one is, is okay. Stun answers. We need the Vipers for advanced, um, advanced uh, medical packs. And we need the Racks here for upgrades. So I think it's almost enough. Yeah. Oh, we got a lot of Alarium cores, but I would want to keep them for crafting later. So this should be enough to build um, or upgrade both of the weapons, magnetic rifles and the weapon for our um, skirmisher. Which means at least we got the weapon upgrades.
There would be superior conditioning. Also interesting because that's three hit points right there. Unfortunately, we don't have enough into only 53. So let's continue building the radio relay. For the West African sector. We have made a number of new discoveries. Nice. We got plated armor as an option. The nanoscale west is not really good. The plated armor is exactly what we're looking for next. Once we've done that, I'd like to go for mutant autopsy to get the better grenades and viper autopsy to get the upgrade on the um, health specs. Probably a couple of de decryptions here for additional intel and the autopsy to progress the storyline. Yeah. I'm not sure how long I'm going to play the campaign, so I want to put it into a sta uh, stage where the campaign is kind of recovered. So I'm not sure what that is going to look like. I certainly don't want to play the whole campaign. We now got Resistance Network. Contact with new regions is made instantly. That is beautiful. It just means we need to get some more intel and I don't want to wait six days so we're going to get intel over here. That's a continuous progress. So, although, let's try to get the intel here. We already started it for two days, I think, yeah. Commander. With the number of contacts we've established, we're getting requests for support from multiple sites around the world. Unfortunately, we only have the resources okay. to respond to one of them. The decision is yours. 102 intel. That would be wonderful. Undying loyalty was difficult. An engineer wouldn't be bad either. And the breakthrough would be good to counter it. The undead loyalty is a big problem. And I don't want to fight a field commander. What's the easiest mission? Like this here is a moderate mission. Just a hack. This here is a difficult mission. But the intel is... We can get intel on different ways. I could just continue scanning afterwards. It's enough to get the new region. And countering the breakthrough will help us to to get away from a full avatar score. So you always need to think about what the highest priority is and for us it's at the moment not losing the game. This here is reduced to a surgical squad size limit of three. <laughs> oh boy. I don't know. I mean, surgical is a hard side trip. But we got an engineer. We would get an engineer out of it. Which in the long run would allow us to free up more... Um, to free up more building. Matter of fact, I think we have an engineer idle. After the last covered ops mission. So yeah, having another one to just clear this here and reduce it to 25 days would be a good idea. I think it's the East Africa mission then. Setting course for Sector 12, East Africa. But that's going to happen in our next run, guys. If you'd enjoyed uh, the invasion of the UFO, please leave a comment down below. Uh, we're at least requiring a couple more of these sessions, so expect maybe three, four more before the run is stabilized. Uh, it's still on the edge. I want to get the armor upgrade and uh, get kind of a, a sufficient footprint uh, before returning uh, the safe game. So, if you like what you've seen, let me know what exactly you like. 
And if you want to submit one of uh, your safe games, don't forget to send it to psychon uh, 4 games at gmail.com. Thank you for watching. Have a great evening.